Hi, this is Dennis Feidner with CFO on a go, one of the largest Sage 100 contractor resellers. Hey, so uh, the request was, how do I how do I track serial numbers and warranty information in Sage? Is there an easy way? And so the question is that, and here is the quick answer. So within the receivable client, uh, this is one of my clients, Jessica. There is a tab down the bottom called equipment. And so as you install equipment for a client, and this is each, and this is not limited to 20, by the way, it's 9,999 uh, rows that are possible. So here's equipment number, uh, that, and that's their equipment number. This is the description, uh, manufacturer information, the manufacturer's part number, uh, the serial number for that piece of equipment. And then if the client has multiple locations, uh, where is that residing at this point? Site location. Um, you know, so here's the location, but where in the site is it? Uh, when was it installed? When did it actually go in service? When does the warranty end from the manufacturer? And then if you use our work order system, and when you do the work orders, you enter the equipment number, it updates this to the next, to the day it was serviced. In this case, this is a 30-day cycle, service cycle. And so it'll schedule a report for us to tell us what the next service dates are. The other part that's important is under this user defined here, which is something nobody ever pays attention to, uh, if I do my F7, I can put a character in there, date, number, yes or no, phone number, or file name. So if I want to scan in the actual um, warranty information or manual or whatever you want, uh, I can actually store a file with this. So when I go to this piece of equipment, if I want to go back to the original uh, invoice from the vendor or if I want to go back to the manual or the warranty uh, booklet that came with it I could have that attached here for each piece of equipment I would just double click it and it would open up that file that's st stored on your server anyway and then a big place to put a bunch of notes in here and this pad is huge by the way um, this here is 90 pages long for each line here you can have 90 pages so I can just start typing away in here of information I want to record for that piece okay that's how I track serial numbers. Uh, very simple. Uh, the nice part is, uh, since we're tracking the manufacturer's part number with the serial number, if there's a recall information from the manufacturer, I can actually create a query, which is right here with the binoculars. I can create a query and say, hey, have I ever sold part number 1234 from you know General Electric or Train or whatever? Uh, and then I could actually see that and then I could see if any of those serial numbers that they're recalling were ones that I installed. I would actually know where they are and where, you know, where to go make the corrections to that. So anyway, lots of information can be stored in here. A lot of people don't look at these tabs at the bottom. They just kind of go with the, the generic stuff up top. But uh, there are some places that store some very interesting information. Say, so, hey, name's Dennis. Phone number 800-659-5851. So 800-659-5851. If you found this video, there's another 200 out there. Check them out. If there's something that you're just dying to know about Sage 100 and if it can do it, call me. I'll figure it out for you. Thanks.